worth a shot. For the longest time, I've been putting on this, like, everyone used to, like, hate on me for, like, doing the Midwestern, like, slur my words together. But you know what? I think it's taken away from the authenticity of this channel. So, what's up, guys, and welcome back or to the channel. <laughs> yep, gave you the old back or two. Anyway, uh, we got the Hellcat running today. We're going to jump the power stroke, and we're also going to lift our Silverado. <laughs> So this has been working with uh, Katie's F-150 and my truck. It's pretty much connecting two jumper cables together. And then for some reason it pushes more volts to the battery or something, I don't know. And she'll crank. So with the two jumper cables connected, for some reason, like you can hear it all, everything's working more efficiently and it'll crank like a banshee. <laughs> Listen to that. It starts right up. So everything I thought that was wrong with this, honestly, we're probably just gonna start off with two new batteries. It should be just fine. Or we couldn't jump it with just a car or just anything, but when you use two sets of cables, it's pushing, I guess, twice as many volts to the battery, and she'll crank and turn over. This is an actual motor crash. That looks like a, you know, a little discount, whatever battery that's in here. So I think if we get two new batteries with some high cold cranking amps, we should be good. Also, so after we get those batteries done, I really do want to get the 5 inch straight on this because it sounds great right now, but I really want to hear that whistle. And she sounds great. <laughs> and with <laughs> and with a five inch straight pipe on that, that will sound better than my truck, high idle, cold start, turbo, uh, I mean exhaust brake on. Those 6.0s, the O3s with those turbos sound so good. Ear piercing on the uh, the whistle. <laughs> I love how you guys can watch these videos and then just a bunch of random crap always shows up. Katie and I are gonna build some uh, planter boxes for like herbs and stuff on the deck. So I picked up this DeWalt level cut compound biter saw I didn't get the one with the slide because it was 300 more dollars and I don't do enough woodwork to like rationalize the, the slide saw even though they're so much better also our tires just showed up for our Silverado That just changes the look completely and we have no wheels for it. Um, so this is probably the deal of the century. Uh, these federal garages, so I know a lot of people run them. They only, their only complaints really are that they're loud. They're mud tires, not say who cares, but who cares. So as long as they balance out and ride decent, they're okay, they wear quick, I get it. However, the deal of the century, retail for like 938 bucks, eBay, uh, even on Amazon, I'll put the link in the description for you guys. On Amazon the one time, I literally saw these for 157 bucks a tire. I couldn't believe myself. But all day long, they're on there for 171 to 181 dollars, these 33 1250 Federals. So for the whole set, I spent less than 700 dollars on these 33s. I couldn't pass it up. If I wanted Furies, they were like $1,100. Um, Toyos and all that, Nittos, $1,400, $1,500 for 33s on a 20-inch uh, wheel. I honestly wanted to go 18s on this truck. However, the 18-inch wheel like tire and the 18-inch wheels like themselves costed more than if I just ordered 20s and these 33 1250 by 20s. So here are the tires for the truck. They are the Federal Carrages. I know they get a kind of mixed uh, review online but I'll give you guys a full review on these tires as we use them obviously we're gonna do the lift today so we could check our new clearance right now obviously any offset we're gonna be hitting our uh, thing so we may have to NorCal this even though we just did all that work on our new um, cab corners and such a new fender but we may have to do some chopping work in there I just want to show you guys these tires show you guys the deal like I said less than 700 bucks for all of them usually I'm not one for like cheap tires random names you've never heard of but federals federal tires those are like been in the market forever nitto toyo stuff like that so just a deal on these i honestly couldn't pass them up if you guys are interested in this please link in the description you need some 33s for your truck on 20s i couldn't believe how cheap these things were and uh obviously after all the stuff 
come, like gets away Amazon Prime free shipping, you can't pass that up. And while I'm at it, guys, if you missed our purple bed liner video, oh baby, this is hardening up now. It's been a couple days, but it's hardening up real nice. Oh, still smells like fresh bed liner, but it's hardening up in the sun here. Oh, it feels great, looks sweet. Honestly, super happy that I went with that. Uh, color choice instead of the black it's just some different and obviously you know you walk up to this in a parking lot people are gonna be like first of all purple wet second of all throw your keys on the ground third of all look at the bed and be like what on earth is this and that's kind of my goal i guess with all my vehicles because same thing with the truck everyone's like what on earth is that and that's like probably the most rewarding uh i guess I forget how to open a car now but that's the most rewarding thing ever people are just like what is that but it looks good so today we're going to be doing our three inch lift i know a lot of you sit there and you're like three inch lift it's just a leveling kit so the way these old trucks are with their torsion bar set up those keys allow a three inch lift just in the front i mean if you can call it a leveling kit or not i got new shocks in the rear from beltac these are the beltac uh three inch lift for this truck so the torsion bar setup although is really outdated is some interesting technology so those keys will give us three inches of lift and everything else up front all the angles and stuff are still in decent condition that's why so many companies sell just those keys as a three inch lift because everything up front kind of still ends up within spec so that's why those keys can be considered a three inch lift because for this kind of suspension that's all it really takes however i'm going to try something today and kind of debunk a myth finally Everyone knows when you have a vehicle with torsion bars, whether it's Suburban, Tahoe, um, old Rams, old Rangers, stuff like that, all of those you know, t torsion bar setups, you can crank your keys. Now, I'm going to get underneath there, crank those keys today, and we're going to see how much a full crank on the keys lift will get us. And I want to see if cranking your keys or buying new keys is the right way to go so we're going to start off with a stock measurement of this truck the stock height it's at keys where they sit center of the hub is 36 inches i mean just a hair over so you know 36 inches straight up now i'm going to go underneath there and crank our keys all the way see how much lift we get so underneath your torsion bar torsion key equipped truck you'll find this cross member with your little keeper and your i guess adjustment screw bolt and this is how you can do like a cheap lift if you want it just crank your keys up but let's see how much lift it really gives you. almost there as you can see guys that's cranked all the way in compared to the other side so we got a little bit of lift on this guy now. Honestly, can barely tell. Cranking our keys went from 36 to 37 inches. So that gave us one inch of lift. That's really not, not good enough. And the truck is barely, barely level. Obviously some of you guys are gonna want me to crank the other side. All that's literally gonna do is bring this side up. And if anything, lower that side down. Or even if it brings it up and levels it out, it's still only about one inch of lift. I don't know. That's really not that much lift for just cranking your keys. So obviously these key, this torsion like key lift is supposed to give us two, as like adjustable two to three inches. So let's get this thing on the stands and uh, try and get these keys out. They might be rusted in the torsion bars, but let's cross our fingers and hope they come right out. <laughs> Okay, so with this, you don't even really need to take off your front tires. As long as your truck is high enough off the ground to um, keep your tires off the pavement, that's all you really need to do on a torsion bar lift, especially one that doesn't give you any shock extensions or anything. So um, the newer trucks will give you a shock extension, this old one. There seems to be enough uh, ride clearance to accommodate with these uh, front shocks. I will probably update them anyway. We'll see how it rides when we're done. However, this, I ordered on Amazon, it's a torsion bar unloading tool, only for um, up to 2011. The new body style Silverado has a wider like clamp area, so it won't work on the new ones. You gotta have a different torsion bar tool. Mm -hmm. 
So here's the tool. It's just a torsion bar unloading tool. Obviously, you guys see. Um, you get the concept. Gonna push in this. It's not screwed out enough. I'm just gonna push into this hole right here. Push the key up. Get your keeper out. And um, your bolt's gonna tighten in here like this. So this is pretty much the whole, you know, concept of the torsion key suspension. That bolt is gonna tighten like this. Twist the bar, and then on the front, it'll twist the bar too, and lift the front up. All right, so first step, we're gonna unload the torsion uh, key. <laughs> there now this is a 25 millimeter uh, socket almost looks like we probably won't make this unless we put it on first not even good that should be fun got your little keeper out then, you can let this down. Okay, now just what I suspected, as you can see, the key is kind of stuck in there. Um, we're gonna figure out a way to, I'm gonna hit this with a hammer and use heat and stuff, but we should be able to knock this out. Um, up there, yeah, I don't know, we'll be able to get this out. I couldn't find my good hammer, so I'm going to try this first before I go on a goose chase. Um, I'm going to try and use our torsion bar key to push the key this way. Um, kind of move it off a little bit, loosen some of that rust in there. Hopefully this works, and then uh, I can kind of move it back and forth, pound it out before I get a lot of uh, PP blast and heat. So I'm hoping this should work for us. <laughs> So we got the good old, I, this dead blow is like not dead blow enough. So I'm gonna go to the old hammer. I can't find my uh, $12 like Amazon hammer anywhere. So we're gonna use this standard hammer, PB Blast, and our, it's in the dark, our map gas here. Uh, we're gonna heat the key up and just try and knock it out of there. It should come uh, in due time. But don't you just love old rusty parts that are stuck? Uh, never a fun part about the uh, jobs like this.
got it. Holy crap, guys, look at that thing smoking. I had that torch on there for about like 10 minutes or so. I mean, literally, it was about eight minutes, eight to 10 minutes. I just torched that thing. Used my um, torsion bar unloading tool to uh, push. Holy cow, that was something. I actually gave up on the driver's side because I was like, you know what, I'm gonna try the passenger side, maybe that'll help. Uh, I just torched it for like eight to 10 minutes. Um, I know some people are all wary about using heat on the torsion bars. I just heated the key, not the bar. And then I took my torsion bar unloading tool and just like hammered it in there and it just kind of slid over and out with all that uh, pressure and heat. So that worked. I'm gonna try and see if I can get it on the other side. Again, get a little better grip on there, heat that thing up, up just keep going. And hopefully that side will pop out too. I, like I said, it's, it's a d torsion bars are old technology, kind of a dumb design. I mean, they work for their purpose, but you know, removing them and doing any kind of work on lower control arms and stuff like that, just not fun. Wow, I'm amazed. I'm gonna get some grease and some anti ACs before I put that uh, new key in there. There's the difference, guys. Kind of show you how these are cut different. Honestly, this little green key in here, it looks super sweet. That was my plan the whole time. Don't worry, this is all gonna get retouched up and painted uh, after sitting for so long and getting all over spray. I'm gonna shoot this black again, don't worry. But see, that green little leveling kit does look pretty sharp, even though it can't be seen really. So anytime someone else is underneath here, or whoever underneath here working on this, um, they see the little uh, three inch lift kit here, which is super sweet. Oh, so guys, with one side done, I might be able to get on the other side and bust the other side out the same way. Uh, a lot of heat and pressure should pop right out. I don't know, this is probably off of like, or for a different package or something. It's this little piece of metal here and it's kind of in the way of getting our torsion bar on loading tool up in there to press this out. Um, so honestly, I'm just, this literally has no purpose. It's like thing right here where something would snap in just isn't there. So I'm honestly gonna cut this because it literally served no purpose. So I'm gonna cut that, get our torsion bar tool in there, and then uh, bust this out. Cause I'm uh, tired of working with it, so I'm gonna do that. camera battery died how many times I was probably about 45 minutes on this torsion bar I think I had three 15 minute clips of me trying to bust this loose uh, we're a couple threads away from the torsion bar tool being completely like screwed in however you can see the torsion bar has gone from the outside of like the back side of the key to inside the key so we are so close to this popping out I'm gonna keep cranking a couple times and then uh, it actually may be, may be getting caught in here honestly if I unload this bar we may just be able to like slide it out, so I don't know if it's getting caught against the uh, cross member here. Um, but I've come that far with the tool, so I'm not gonna sit there and um, take it off till I screw it at least all the way in. We're so close.
after about probably an hour and a half, two hours. A lot of heat, a lot of whatever. <laughs> you see that, guys? That's a loose that's a loose torsion key. I'm hoping that this bar slides forward. This is something. This is just a huge fight. But let me zip this off and hopefully we can finish this up. <laughs> Guys, okay, update. It wasn't stuck. We're like rusted in the control arm, it was just torqued in there. Look at this. What does that sound like? Yeah. That little, you know what? Uh, yeah. Ooh. Good night. All right. I'll see you guys like Sunday or something. I'm out of here. Oh, seriousness, guys. If that happens to you, you got your finally got your key out. It's stuck in the A arm. It's just torqued. I heated it and just you took anger out on it with my sledgehammer and eventually it just kind of took its way and twist 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 loose and I just jiggled it took its way out oh my goodness that that was something was an extreme, extreme fight. And I know you guys haven't seen me this dirty in a while, and it's good to be back. It honestly is. Um, I guess while I'm here and exhausted, a new giveaway coming extremely, extremely, extremely soon. Um, we are finally getting into like getting some uh, of our merch and stuff back in stock. Five of you are going to be winners this time. Five, not one. Adam from El Paso, Texas was our winner last time, but five of you will be our winner this time. Uh, stay on the lookout for that, guys. It's coming very soon. So, now with all that done, let's get this on the ground. So, guys, here is our finished product. Let me give you a measurement. Show you guys the measurement. Middle of the hub to the fender. All the way up to... It would focus 39 inches just about as you guys saw that so in turn this did give us about three inches of lift let me roll up one of our tires and see what kind of clearance we're gonna have you guys will probably see the wheels and tires on in like the final reveal video of this but while wow, the purple paint in those federals does look quite mean the situation is going to be obviously we probably run into those corners and stuff so a little cutting may be required so our measurements on both sides are about 38 and three quarter so we are good to go um truck does sit so much better and on top of that so much meaner as well that was fun that was like one of the last things to get rid of that grandpa look that we started with was honestly that little lift kit i mean obviously with the three inch lift this thing looks badass looks so so much better um, honestly, I know a lot of people online, that's like the standard thing, 33s on like even a leveling kit. And I mean, they do do some chopping and stuff, but wow, I'm going to be interested to see how I'm actually going to have to chop and cut and do whatever in here. Cause we're going to be, I mean, we're pretty, pretty close, pretty tight in here. So first, I know some of you are going to want to call it a leveling kit. Some of you are going to want to call it a three inch lift, but this is my first truck. This is the smallest lift I've had on any truck. My first truck, I had a four inch lift. My second truck, I had a six inch and then I put the leveling kit on it after the fact. So I had an eight inch lift and then my Ram 12 inch, well, six inch and then 12 inch lift. And then this is my first truck ever with a leveling kit or like three inch lift. So this is, so this is my first truck, like almost said this small. I'm kind of vibing with it. Well, 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 look what the cat dragged in. Holy crap, this is a huge truck. Holy crap. I mean, it's still a little shorter, but damn. 
make it to the nearest McDonald's? Uh, yeah, bend over, I'll show you. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually pretty darn big. I love it, wow. So guys, you'll find out why they were here in the next video. Um, <laughs> that's Ben and other Ben, Ohio JKU on Instagram and Mojito, Ohio. They're dropping off some parts for me that got shipped to Columbus. So they were up here picking up some parts for their Jeep, uh, Facebook Marketplace deal, and I asked them to bring these parts down for my truck. So you'll find out what those are. That is the soup. That is a super exciting part to that Ram SEMA build out there. So you'll figure out what that is probably in the next video. Um, but I almost gave it away. <laughs> but that is a super awesome mod. So thank you to them for bringing those up uh, while they're on their trip up here. We are just about done for today. I just want to say thank you guys for tuning in and watching the install of this three inch, I almost say install, but mostly struggle uh, <laughs> with the stock suspension parts. But the install of this three inch Beltac suspensions lift uh, on our Chevy Silverado here. I just want to say thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you guys for your support. Take care. I will see you guys in the next video. We are getting closer and closer to finishing our 2004 Silverado build here. So thank you guys for everything. I will see you guys very soon.